Thompson wins it in overtime. Brady can jump, breakaway shoots, scores! Welcome to Sens Talk. My name is Brandon and I am your host. Massive game today for your Ottawa Senators as they take on the New York Rangers at Madison Square Garden. By the way, if you didn't hear... The Sanders made a massive trade less than 24 hours ago as Jacob Chikrin, the Ottawa native, is now an Ottawa Senator. He makes his Senators debut tonight. He flew in this morning. He got some sleep during the day and he was hungry, chopping at the bits to get into the Sanders lineup. And by the way, the Rangers have a star making their uh, team debut as well. Patty Kane, really weird to see him in the blue and red, makes his Rangers debut as well. A lot of other storylines tonight. Julian Gauthier making his first start against the New York Rangers since getting traded from the Big Apple. And by the way, big game brats. Congratulations, my friend. Game number 1,000 for you. Incredible accomplishment. 1,000 games with 10 different teams in your NHL career. Majority of those games with the New York Rangers and the Ottawa Senators. The Rangers gave you a bit of a tribute during the game. Really, really classy by the Rangers, but uh, could not have happened to a better person. Brass is a hell of a guy. Great locker room guy, as I've been told. And more importantly, still has it. Great player on the ice as well. And tonight, we'll be talking about him. He, uh, Let's just say he had a good game. Let's just leave it at that. But a win tonight if the Penguins lose, by the way, just looking at the standings for the playoffs. If Ottawa wins this game and the Penguins lose, Ottawa would only be three points out of the final wildcard spot. So a massive game tonight against a team like the Rangers, who of course are loaded. Tarasenko, Kane, Panarin, Zabanjad, the list goes on. However, they played last night. They're not starting Igor Shosturkin. This is a winnable game for the Ottawa Senators. So let's get into it. To the first period we go. Seven minutes in and the Rangers strike first. Tom Shabbat gets caught in the offensive zone after a turnover. Chris Kreider beats him with the first step and is sprung loose on a breakaway. He puts it backhand past Cam Talbot, glove side, and the Rangers strike first. It's 1-0 New York, and that was the score after 20 minutes of play in a chippy affair. Almost half of the first period of play, Ottawa was on the penalty kill, and that's primarily thanks to Austin Watson, who left the game in the first period with a game misconduct, and this hit, you can see on your screen here, elbow to the head on Tyler Mott, the former Ottawa Senator. Definitely a penalty. Game misconduct, I don't know. I mean, I can respect the league for, you know, trying to cut these type of dangerous hits out of the game. So with that perspective in mind, I understand the game misconduct. It just has to be called, you know, consistently throughout the NHL. Uh, but definitely a penalty, a stupid hit for Watson, no doubt about it. I hope Tyler Mott is okay as well. He has some concussion history. Uh, but yeah, so... Bit of a bad hit there for Austin Watson. I think Tyler Mott was okay, uh, but a game misconduct for him. So that was a five-minute penalty for Ottawa. They did kill it, though. And like I just said, Ottawa spent nearly half of the first period of play on the penalty kill. Luckily, after one, though, it's only a one nothing deficit. And by the way, Ottawa did get a power play in that first period of play. Jake Chikorin got some power play two opportunities. So, uh, by the way, we'll be talking about Jacob Chikorin at the end of this game the game notes. Really, really impressed with this play. But let's get to the second period of play. Ten minutes in, off a weird bounce from the point. Alex DeBrincat, meow man, feet chain Pinto out front, puts it home. Tie game, 1-1 one, one for Pinner. And the Ottawa Sanders strike only halfway through the second period of play. And Ottawa is right back into this one. Because 20 seconds later, in game number 1,000 for Derek Broussard, he tips a shot out front, and he scores in game number 1,000. They give Ottawa the 2-1 lead. What a moment for him. It's 2-1 Sanders for Big game brass. But unfortunately, just like the Ottawa Senators who struck with two goals in like 20 seconds, the Rangers would strike back to back in a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes after Broussard gives Ottawa the 2 1 lead, Jacob Truba, the Rangers captain, darts past Joseph along the right hash mark, beats Cam Talbot in tight 2 2 game, and then two minutes later, oh my, Vladimir Tarasenko. Tarasenko show, I might say. This goal was Nostalgia from 2015. If you don't remember when he was with the Blues, that beautiful Forsberg move uh, against Cam Talbot when he was with the Rangers. It was highlight reel. We saw it for years. Well, he just pulled it off again. Two minutes after that Truba goal, with about five minutes left in the second period of play, Vladimir Tarasenko on a breakaway makes a signature Forsberg move. What a dangle. And the Rangers take the lead again. It's 3-2. It's just like that exact same goal from like 2015. What a goal for Tanner Sanko and the Rangers after 40 minutes of play. Lead again. It's 3-2 for the Rangers. Woo. I don't know what you want Cam Talbot to do on that one. What a silky move for Tarasenko. And game respect game. I'm a Sens fan if you couldn't tell. But I got to respect that goal. It was stunning from Tarasenko. And anytime 
Uh, a Forsberg move is pulled off in an NHL game and, you know, a high-paced game. It's always fun to watch as a hockey fan. Uh, and I can say that now because the outcome of this game is definitely positive for Ottawa. Looking back at it, let's say if we lost, I don't think I'd be so happy about seeing that one. But uh, luckily, things turn around in the third period here. Speaking of the third period, two minutes into the third period of play. Dark Broussard puts a lot of pressure on Halak behind the net. He turns it over. Broussard winds up with the puck again in front of the net with a spinorama and his second of the game. Tie game. 3-3. Big game, Brass. And game number 1,000 with his second goal of the night. His eighth point in seven games. And the Ottawa Senators tied at three. Big game, Brass. How do you do? And then two minutes later, what a game this was. Claude Giroux puts home the loose puck from a point shot. And the Ottawa Senators lead again. It's 4-3. Ottawa, who wants it? Your Ottawa Senators do. What a game, what a third period, and what a start. Five minutes in, going to the third period of play. Down by one. Five minutes later, up by one. What a comeback here for your Ottawa Senators. Claude Giroux, again Ottawa, scores two goals in less than two minutes. And the Senators lead 4-3. The Rangers would get a couple of power plays after this. They would put a lot of shots on net to Cam Talbot, who, by the way... Hell of a game for you, my friend, as your Ottawa Sanders win 5-3 over the New York Rangers as Tim Stutzler gets the empty net goal. As your Ottawa Senators are right back in the playoff mix and we are not going anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game, what a win. And the next game is against Columbus and Chicago with the two points tonight. I'm less stressed about getting those points. Tonight was the game where if we lost, okay. I get it. We just have to win against Columbus and Chicago. Those are must-win games. Now I'm much more comfortable, and I really can feel the playoffs because this game, of course, it was a winnable game like I mentioned at the beginning, but it's a tough team like the New York Rangers at home, Patty Kane's debut. Who knows what can happen, right? But what a game here for Ottawa. They did not stop playing hard. Even when they took a bunch of penalties and things looked rough, they got the goal tending. They got the goals in bunches. And this is a huge win once again because now, like I said many times already, Columbus and Chicago, those are teams you should win. We have a chance. Uh, we've won four in a row. We can win six now and if we win those two games. And I'm really like, since the trade yesterday with Jacob Chikorin, I, I'll be honest with you, even after those back-to-back -back wins against Detroit, I didn't really know how to feel about the playoffs. I mean, it's really tough to get there. We have to have like an insane pace the rest of the year uh, to catch up to like some of the teams we're chasing, like Pittsburgh. But when we brought in Jacob Chikorin, I mean, this is Ottawa's best top four in over a decade, no doubt. I mean, last time Ottawa had such a good top four, that guy was on there, right? So it's been quite some time. Um, but once again, with bringing in Jacob Chikorin and then this win tonight with the next two games... Buckle up. Buckle up, Suns fans. I am feeling it. I am feeling playoffs. What a win. And it's great to have meaningful games in March again. For the third period of play, I was standing up the entire time. Stress walking, you know, the whole thing. I haven't done that since 2017. It feels great to care so much about the games again and to be so into it. It feels so good. So good. To be playing meaningful games in March and right in the thick of the playoff hunt. So, uh, great win here for the Ottawa Sanders. That's four in a row. And by the way, Claude Giroux, assisting on that Tim Stutzla empty net goal, has his third point of the night. That's 10 points in his last four games. And by the way, Claude Giroux is 35 years old. He has over a point per game this year. I mean, this is actually bazonkers, okay? The Ottawa Sanders are an absolute wagon. Uh, let's get to the game notes. Jacob Chikrin played just under 20 minutes tonight, which is honestly insane i mean actually insane he hasn't played in over two weeks because he was benched uh, for trade reasons when he was with arizona and he flew in today really early in the morning got to you know to new york he didn't practice he slept through the day and then he plays about 20 minutes of ice time gets five blocks with one takeaway got some time on the second power play unit as well and most importantly i really loved his game the sanders look like a completely different team in the back end with him there his stick work is fantastic i mean he really it's impossible to get around him with that stick he knocks the puck off of guys so easily he's such a strong defender and his situational awareness is fantastic the way he can jump into the play and create some offense potentially too he's such a dynamic two-way defenseman and Ottawa's top four is I mean we oh, pure Dorian shout out to you my friend I mean this is insane it's insane this top four and Jacob Chikorin once again 
in his first game, you can notice right away the difference of having such great quality in your top four. So I'm really impressed. I'm really happy to see uh, Jacob Chikorin's performance. There was a scary moment in the third period. He took a big hit to the boards, uh, went down, but eventually got up under his own strength and stayed in the game. Um, of course, there's a bit of an injury history there with Chikorin, so that was a little concerning. But when you look at the replay, he was twisted awkwardly into the board, so that's nothing but a recurring injury. That's just a really weird hit. Luckily, he was okay, though. Uh, so once again, a great game for Jacob Chikorin. Speaking of great games, Derek Broussard, big game brass. It's the third center in history to score two goals in game number 1,000. Chris Phillips and David Legwan are the others to do so. Huge game. I mean, a huge game for him. Uh, too bad he couldn't get the game-winning goal, but he got the tying goal at least. And, you know, once again, shout out to the New York Rangers for giving him that tribute during the game. Very classy, and I'm sure it means a lot to him. Uh, as an Ottawa Senator, his hometown team to score two goals against the New York Rangers, the team that he played for for the most in his NHL career. So, uh, once again, shout out to Big Game Brass. Really, really awesome, and no doubt he got the goggles in today's game. Now, the Sanders only sit two spots out of the final playoff spot. They are five points beyond the Pittsburgh Penguins with their overtime win over the Tampa Bay Lightning today. But, I'll say this, we keep on climbing in the standings, we keep on winning. Eventually, they'll be us teams are chasing. So, keep on winning, keep on pushing. The playoffs are in sight. The next Sanders game is on Saturday against the Columbus Blue Jackets. However, tomorrow is the trade deadline. So, I have a sneaky suspicion we'll probably be seeing each other tomorrow uh, if Ottawa makes a trade. I have a good feeling they will. So I'll probably see you tomorrow. If not, I will see you Saturday night when Ottawa takes on the Columbus Blue Jackets. But besides that, woo! What a game, baby. What a game. Your Ottawa Sanders are back. A massive 5-3 victory over the New York Rangers. And I'll see you on the next one. Go Sens. Go.